The Kajito Pop Watch brings analog style to a digital age, but is it worth it? Welcome to Geek vs. Geek, where Dave Johnson and Rick Broida are like the Yoda and Obi-Wan of tech stuff. I'm your host, Helen Hong. I guess that would make me Princess Leia. Let's get this party started. The Kajito Pop Smartwatch, guys. Is it worth it? Well, I am actually wearing this very watch. Hmm? It looks good. As, you think it looks good? I do. I... That is ugly. <laughs> oh, fuck. Good lord, I'm that's going to no, go I right like ahead it. and agree with Dave. This is one of the ugliest things I've ever seen. I don't know what color this is supposed to be. It's blue. Like, and it's yeah. blue. It's blue. I, I, I'm all for having kind of an analog design, but this kind of goes too far in that plasticky, I got this in a box of Cracker Jack kind of direction. Now, I just oh. have to, before you go any further, I have to ask, let's, let's start with the important thing. What does it cost? <laughs> well, I'm going to save that because oh, okay. that's like the most Ooh. exciting part of all. So this actually, on paper, answers everything that I want from a smartwatch, which is that it looks like a regular watch, and it really only does a couple of basic things, which are notify me if I get a text message or a phone call. So my phone's in my pocket, and I either can't hear it or I can't feel it buzz or whatever, but the watch will buzz and flash and let me know that there's an event happening on my phone. Oh, perfect. That's all I want from the watch, and also for it to tell time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> However, this particular one falls down on two out of three of those counts because... Can I guess which two? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Well, we already established you guys both think it's ugly. Yeah, it's really ugly. I think it's, I think it's kind of cute, it's, I don't know. It's actually available in, in, I think, five other colors, and maybe some of the others are less... I don't know, this just seems like a non-color to me. I don't so like what doesn't this. it do well for so you? So the problem is that it has four little LEDs on here that flash to indicate what the what's happening. So whether it's a text message or it's a call or whatever. But they flash like boop, like nothing. Like you can barely oh, see it. Oh, too short. Way too short. Okay. It's barely a flash. And the buzz, the, the little vibration thing that it has in it, is so subtle that you can really barely feel it. And it only does it for like a split second. Now, this pairs with an app on your phone so you can adjust settings, but you can't adjust those settings. You can't change how long it flashes, how oh. long it vibrates, how it actually beeps. There's an audible beep as well. You can't control any of that stuff. So out of the box, it is almost useless. <laughs> what do you think, realistically, based on what I've told you, feature-wise, something like this would cost? And the way it looks, it's, it's plastic, it's... Kind of ugly. 50 bucks. Yeah, probably. I would probably say Yeah, 50 so this is $129.99. Okay. <laughs> so that's the big fail. I mean, the biggest fail of them all. For just $20 more, you can buy one of the Pebble smartwatches, which I would, if I were. Far would, superior. Far, far superior. superior. <laughs> Absolutely. So wow. this, this is what I wanted on paper, but in reality, it's a huge fail, and I'm just disappointed beyond belief, and it is not worth it. Mm -hmm. And what do you think? Oh, no, not, not at the price that, yeah. that is listed. If they fix the bugs and they lower the price, I'd consider it. But even so, there's no way I would want something that simply replicated the function of my watch <laughs> buzzing in my pocket. I, I want something like the Pebble, where it really tells me what's happening. Well, I think the decision is unanimous. The Kojito Pop Watch, eh, big fail. What do you guys think? Do you guys have one? Have you tried one out? Let us know on Facebook, Twitter, or email, and we'll see you again next time on Geek vs. Geek.